many events cannot be predicted with total certainty. The best we can say is how likely these are to happen. And this we can do using probability. So let's see what is probability. It is a measure which quantifies how likely an event is to happen. And it's a number between 0 and 1. Higher number means more likely an event is to happen and lower number means less likely. So the least value that it can take is 0. In that case it will mean an impossible event. That is that event cannot happen. And if its value is 1, which is the maximum, then that event will certainly happen. For example, uh, if we have uh, rolling a dice, then we know that its value is from 1 to 6. Then we say that what is the probability that a roll of a dice will yield 7 or 8. Then we will say that it's 0 because it can only have values between 1 and 6 and you are saying that what is the probability of getting 8. So this is not possible. So probability in that case will be 0. On the other hand, if we say what is the probability that the value is between 1 and 6 inclusive, then it will be certainty because its value will definitely be between 1 and 6. Now let's see the definition of probability of an event. So it's defined as the number of ways an event can happen and divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So let's see a few examples, then it will be more clear. So let's say uh, we are asking what is the probability of getting a head in toss of a coin. So when we toss a coin, we either get head or tail. So there are only two possible total number of outcomes is 2 and uh, we are interested in head so the event here is landing head which is which can occur in one way and total number of outcomes is 2 so the probability is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 let's take another example what is the probability of getting 3 in roll of a dice so when we roll a dice we can either get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So total number of outcomes is 6. And the total number of ways this event can ha happen is just 1. One of these. So it's 1 over 6. Now I ask what is the probability of getting either 3 or 5. So in that case, we have two ways that event can happen. Either it lands 3 or 5. But total number of, number of outcomes is still 6. So in that case it will be 2 over 6. So I hope uh, you understood what is probability. In the next video we will see uh, what are experiments, random experiments and random variables.